Chapter 1038, Absorbing the Phoenix Blood Essence. Junior Apprentice Brother Lin. Congratulations. Junior Apprentice Brother Lin. Awesome fight. As Lin Ming obtained the Phoenix Blood Essence, many disciples that knew Lin Ming came up to congratulate him, some of them with voices thick with envy. This was ancient Phoenix Blood Essence. Even someone like Crimson Strife Cloud, who came from the World King family background, would crave and yearn for it. In the Divine Realm, there were countless various bloodlines. In order to reach a higher realm of cultivation, besides perception, lucky chances, and destiny, one also need to have enough martial talent. Of the several factors that formed a genius, martial talent was at the end. But, this didn't mean that it was unimportant. On the contrary, martial talent was actually indispensable. It was just that in the Divine Realm there were many different methods to increase one's martial talent, thus it wasn't considered too important. Improving one's bloodline was often the main method to increase one's talent. In this universe, the human bloodline wasn't much at all. Humans were small and weak animals, they were slow, their physical strength was lacking, and their bodies were frail. Although they were more formidable than ants, cats, dogs, and other such ordinary animals, they fell far short of being able to compare with fierce beasts like lions and tigers. Compared to vicious beasts and saint beasts, they couldn't even hold a candle to them. As for a god beast, there was even less to speak of. A god beast did not even need to train. As long as they grew up, they would have the strength of a peak world king powerhouse. As for a human, they would die in several dozen years if they didn't cultivate. But after so many billions of years, humanity had actually taken rule over the entire divine realm. Besides humans' terrifying ability to multiply, the main reason they had been able to do this was based on their perception, creativity, and ability to learn. Mankind had created a brilliant and magnificent martial arts civilization. There was no other race in this cosmos that was more suited to cultivating martial arts than humans. A weak little baby that cried just after being born, could 100,000 years later destroy a star with their own hands. This weak baby could become an empty ridden with the ability to create their own miracle. This could be said to be an unbelievable miracle. As for saint beasts and god beasts, their effects of cultivating were limited. Nearly all transcendent divine might were created by humanity. Although a god beast was powerful, they could not compare with a human empyrean. And while humans had an advantage in cultivation, their bloodline talent was actually poor. The children they gave birth to were frail and weak without even the strength to grab a chicken. Then, in the distant past, the ancient martial artists of the divine realm underwent a variety of experiments to transform their own bloodline. With humanity's cultivation speed, if they also had a bloodline superiority then they would truly become the beloved of heaven. And by this era, in the vast and boundless divine realm, the truly powerful families all had their own unique bloodline inheritances. All these various bloodlines had strange and wonderful powers, each with their own strengths and disadvantages, some better and some worse. This included god-beast families like the ancient Phoenix clan. For instance, the ancient Dragon clan, Kirin clan, or Rock clan. These god-beast families all had noble bloodlines. But, what a pity, they were never able to fuse the god-beast bloodline into their own genes. Thus, they could only rely on transplanting additional blood to maintain their bloodline. Of these four great god-beast families, only the ancient dragon clan had several world kings appear within their ranks. As for the other three noble families, the strongest powerhouses they had were half-step world kings. As Lin Ming entered the divine realm, it became important for him to constantly enhance his own talent. This would save him a great deal of cultivation time in the future. At this moment, a beautiful and alluring woman with 10,000 different flavors of sexuality arrived in front of Lin Ming. She gently smiled and said, Apprentice nephew Lin, I am the vice internal affairs envoy of the ancient phoenix clan, monarch Sweetie Fox. This is the internal affairs envoy, Huo High Dragon. This is the captain of a disciplinary enforcement division, Gold and Sword. And finally, as you should be well aware, this is the current patriarch of the ancient phoenix clan's Huo family, Highest Elder Huo Violetstone. Monarch Sweetie Fox slowly introduced everyone to Lin Ming, Highest Elder Huo Violetstone. Lin Ming sucked in a light breath. A highest elder of the ancient phoenix clan, that was a holy lord level existence. In the divine realm there was a colossal number of holy lands, and even more holy lord level characters. But, this didn't mean that a holy lord wasn't special. In fact, becoming a holy lord was unimaginably rare and difficult. Once one became a holy lord, they could rule their own section of the divine realm and become an overlord. Crimson Struff Cloud was also a holy lord, and a peak holy lord at that. But, there were far too many lives in the divine realm, even more than a trillion trillion lives. It was simply impossible to count. Thus, that was why there were so many holy lords. For example, out of a population of a trillion martial artists, a single divine lord powerhouse would appear. But, only one out of every 10,000 divine lords would manage to become a holy lord level powerhouse. If one calculated this, then the chance that a martial artist would manage to become a holy lord powerhouse was 1 in 10,000 trillion. Then, 10,000 holy lords would appear from a group of 100,000 trillion martial artists. And in a population of 10 billion trillion martial artists, there would be a million holy lords. This old man is the strongest powerhouse I've seen to date. Lin Ming deeply looked at Huo Violet Stone. He simply couldn't make out what cultivation or power of laws this old man had. It was hard to imagine that this old man might even have the power to move a small planet. Brat, come with me. Huo Violet Stone suddenly said. Then, as he spoke he waved his hand and casually tore apart space, forming a space vortex. Come on in. Huo Violet Stone's voice was full of energy. It was impossible to refuse him. Lin Ming nodded and stepped into the space vortex. In the next moment, 
he felt his own divine soul twist as if he had crossed through a million mile distance. He arrived in a great and broad world. This was not a minor dimension that an ordinary martial artist opened up with their true essence, but a truly great world that extended as far out as the eye could see. There was no limit or edge. As Lin Ming cast his divine sense out and investigated, this world seemed endless. This is a mortal nation? Lin Ming was surprised. When he investigated with his senses he discovered that several hundred miles away there was a large number of mortals carrying out some sort of prayer and worship ceremony, as if they were praying for good crops and good weather. This sort of ceremony would only occur in the world of mortals. A martial artist believed in their own strength and ability to change the world as they saw fit. Thus, they naturally felt less awe towards certain beliefs, and they certainly wouldn't believe in some faint and illusory divine god. And besides this ceremony, Lin Ming could also make out the noisy market streets, bustling cities, fertile fields of crops, and even battlefields where life and death slaughter was happening. On this battlefield, the soldiers were basically all at the body transformation realm. The generals might be at the Haoshan realm, and nearly none were at the Xianchen realm. This sort of army strength was similar to the Sky Fortune Kingdom that Lin Ming grew up in. This place is. This is my divine world, the world I formed when I stepped into the divine lord realm, a world evolved from the great dimension within my body. As an old voice sounded out, Hugh of Violet Stone appeared beside Lin Ming. The reason that a divine lord is called a divine lord is that they can open a true world within their body and become the divine existence of their own world, then being able to receive the power of faith from those that live within them. Well, enough of that, Lin Ming. The reason I brought you here is that I want to ask you several questions. But before that, I will help you absorb this drop of Phoenix blood essence first. If you can maintain your current rate of achievements in the future, and perhaps rise even further, then the ancient Phoenix clan will do everything in their power to help train and raise you. There can be a second drop of Phoenix blood essence, perhaps even a third, all the way until you become a half-step world king and achieve the same level of Yaudeji and Huo burning heaven of the past. You can even surpass them and struggle for glory for the ancient Phoenix clan. The ancient Phoenix had remained silent for hundreds of thousands of years already. They urgently needed a top powerhouse to appear within their ranks in order to enhance the destiny of the entire clan. Destiny was a concept that couldn't be explained clearly. An ordinary shop would find a treasure for their store in order to stabilize their destiny and bring about more business and prosperity. Similarly, an ancient family needed a peerless powerhouse to present themselves in order to enhance their own destiny. Often, after an unrivaled genius was successfully raised, other top geniuses would begin popping up like endless mushrooms one after another. This was not solely an issue of something so fickle like destiny, but because of the truth that the appearance of an unrivaled powerhouse would be accompanied with a great number of lucky chances. As Hugh of Violet Stone finished speaking, his mind moved and the thought of a battle spirit shot out and destroyed the crystal that sealed the drop of phoenix blood essence. As the crystal shattered, the drop of blood essence that contained the inherent life essence of a phoenix god beast slowly drifted downwards. This drop of phoenix blood essence emitted a powerful, vast, and fiery aura. Lin Ming could even feel that this drop of phoenix blood essence contained fragments of the great Tao laws. These laws were of course not perceived by the phoenix. Rather, when the phoenix was born it had already inherently comprehended these laws. When a god beast like a phoenix was born, their body would naturally be inscribed with Tao diagrams and there would be lorings deeply etched into their bones. These laws were all completely natural. One could say they were closest to the heavenly Tao. Hugh of Violet Stone used his thoughts to control this drop of blood essence and move it towards Lin Ming. Wherever this blood essence went, Lin Ming could see that the space around it twisted around. This was because of the highly compressed energy contained within the drop of blood essence. It was even able to twist the space within Hugh of Violet Stone's divine world. This was a truly impressive condensed energy. As soon as this drop of phoenix blood essence approached the point between Lin Ming's eyebrows, he could feel a sharp pain there as if a needle were stabbing into him as well a pain that came from being burned by flames. The ancient phoenix mark on Lin Ming's forehead naturally revealed itself. It released a dazzling golden light that shined along beautifully with the drop of phoenix blood essence. All of the power of blood within Lin Ming's body seemed to be summoned by some invisible force, swelling up towards the point between his eyebrows as if it were gathering into something. What an extraordinary strength, and what rich source laws! Lin Ming exclaimed to himself. Then, that drop of phoenix blood essence finally fell onto the point between Lin Ming's eyebrows. In that instant, Lin Ming was able to feel just how heavy this drop of blood essence was. Ordinary ancient phoenix blood was around the same weight as human blood, but, this drop of phoenix blood essence was as dense as mountains and rivers, as heavy as the sea. This was because this drop of blood essence was condensed from the life essence of a phoenix god beast. It was the most precious treasure of a phoenix. Hiss. A burning heat beyond compare spread outwards. The skin between Lin Ming's eyes was penetrated through by that drop of phoenix blood essence. Lin Ming felt his heart suddenly jump, as if his heart were having trouble processing the massive load coming from the drop of blood essence. Who, who, Lin Ming wildly gasped for breath. Blue veins stuck out from his forehead and sweat streamed down his entire body. In front of him, Hugh of Violet Stone was completely focused. In a flash, his hands twisted together in a series of motions and 10,000 seal marks shot out, sinking into Lin Ming. In order to transplant a bloodline, a secret technique was required, let alone Phoenix blood essence. Even back at the Sky Spill Continent, disciples of Divine Phoenix Island also needed a special secret technique and inheritance to transplant the Vermilion Bird bloodline. It wasn't that anyone who wished to transplant the bloodline could do it. As for transplanting Phoenix blood essence, that was especially difficult and laborious. The more powerful the person assisting with the transplant, the better the effects would be.